good afternoon or I should say good evening yeah I'd say it's early evening now good evening hi how are you and welcome to my channel my name is Sandra my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome how are we doing are we all doing all right yeah you sure yeah all right that's good okay so today I'm coming to you with my glossy box for October and I have got variation three this month so that should be interesting variation free so what is glossy box it is a monthly subscription box a beauty subscription box and you'll tend to get five sort of deluxe travel size items in there occasionally you might get a full size item in there um, a full size item might be I don't know like a cloth a face cloth or something like that it could be um, a face brush of some sort eyeshadow brush um, a contour brush that sort of thing but it'll be a full size item that is sort of small that can fit in a box like this the box costs if you buy it on a month-to-month -month basis it costs I think it's £13.50 the prices have changed since the beginning of the year but because I signed up last year I'm not quite sure what the subtle changes in the prices are you can buy the box on a month-to-month -month basis you can buy it on a prepaid plan so you pay up front for a whole year for six months for three months you can sort of sign yourself in for like a year which is what I do so you contract yourself to receive the box for a year and then the price per month is reduced so that's what I did so I currently pay £11.50 a month for the box I believe that if I was to sign up now the box would cost me maybe £12 or maybe £12.50 a month so but I will put the correct prices off the box up on the screen around me I think there's four different levels so they'll be around the screen around me yeah but before I open up this box to see what we got this month I just want to go through quickly what we got last month or what I received last month and um, how I've got on with the products if I even use the products but let's have a look so last month we received five items and the first item was from Elemis which was a good product it was the Elemis dynamic resurfacing um, oh, what was it yeah, it was the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing sort of face wash. So it was a good size tube, lovely product. I haven't started using it yet because I'm actually finishing another Elemis um, face wash, which I've got at the moment. But I will go on and to use that one as well. Um, I do love the Elemis face washes. They tend to be, they might have a slight fragrance, but not too much but it depends on what you think is too much they have got a slight fragrance on there um, and they do tend to be I for me I think they're quite gentle my skin's not sensitive to know so I'm probably not the right person to to comment on that so I should probably shut up on that but I generally I do like the product Elemis is more of a, a spa brand so it's a slightly higher end brand which you will find being used in you know in spas if you go around and have a spa day so it's a very nice brand it's a nice product to receive you can purchase it from various sites um, um, stores you can buy it oh I don't know you could buy it online look fantastic for example which is a partner or sister company to look fantastic box you could buy it from say look fantastic which is also part of the hut group so look fantastic and glossy box are all part of the same Hut Group, which is the umbrella company, and they've got various companies underneath them. So you can buy all the Elemis products from Look Fantastic if you wanted to. So that was the first product. More than happy to receive that. That was all good. The next product, I said I was going to use it straight away, and I didn't. So I should, I'm going to say I'm going to try and use it tonight because I, I could do with that extra, extra luxury tonight. So I might reach out for it if I don't go for another face mask instead so this is from youth lab and it was a brightening boom mask so it was a sheet mask I love receiving sheet masks so I will if I don't use it tonight it will be used at some point because I love a sheet mask so that was a very welcome product to try but I can't comment on how good it is how much serum is in there because I love it when they've got loads of serum in there and you can just slop it on your skin and just leave it to absorb I love that but I can't comment on that yet because I haven't used it yet. So, yep, sorry. 
The third item was from Saint Lux um, and it was a setting spray. I wasn't that keen on that because I have used a setting spray before. I didn't think it was very good. So I can't remember if I kept it or if I put it in the giveaway which I did last month or if I, not last month, it was, I don't know if I put it in the August giveaway or if I have put it aside to put in this month's giveaway. I have got a giveaway going this month by the way so just to let you know so you need to check out the video that may have it on. Is that my sister? I think my sister's arriving. My sister's arriving so I better hurry up. Right, next product was from MUA, so I think that's called Makeup Artist, I think they're called, but MUA Velvet Matte Lipstick, which again would have been a, a nice product if it was in a colour that would work for me. The colour just wasn't um, for me at all, it was a very light sort of a uh, rosy brown, not even so rosy, I would say more like a toffee brown colour, not the kind of colour that I would traditionally wear it's not a colour that I think works for me so again I've put that aside for a giveaway to be done also I'm kind of going away from the whole matte lipsticks now I don't know about you guys I'm liking more creamy moisture glowy products now yeah it's my sister I wonder what she needs Right, okay, I'm back. And the final product we received last month was from Mud Masky, and it was a very sort of um, popular, well, it was really popular on TikTok and social media. It was the Mud Masky Vitamin Infused Scalp Serum. Haven't used that either, so I'm not sure if I kept that or if I put that aside to be put in a giveaway. But it was a product that was received, very interesting. I know it's been very, very popular, but I'm not sure if it's something that I am going to use myself. So the products for me last month, which were definites, was the Elemis um, Dynamic Face Wash and the Youth Love Youth Lab Brightening Boom Mask. Everything else was like, mm, uh, yeah. So for me, last month's box was a um, so so. But that's how it goes, isn't it? I mean, I'm paying £11.50, so I'm not going to complain too much because some months it's fantastic, but other months not so much. So let's see what we got this month. So variation free. Let's open that and let's hope that the um, QR code works for this one because I just did the the Look Fantastic box and the QR code didn't bring up this month's details, box content. Okay, so we've got the traditional box this month, which is all good. So we've got that. And let's see if we've got a QR code in here. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's always got the pink tissue and the brown, the black thing. I'm surprised actually. I thought it might have been a themed box, because it's it's October. I'm used to October having sort of the more halloween -y kind of things. That's what I'm used to with Look Fantastic, so I'm surprised no themed box this month. Very unusual. Right, let's have a look. Right, so we've got the QR code, so let's scan that and hopefully it works. Right, so it looks like the theme this month is Autumn Glow. Okay, so that's good. Let's have a little read, see what they're saying. Right, so it says, Hey Glossies, we're excited to present our exclusive collection, Autumn Glow. As the pace of life slows and the crisp air envelopes us, this curated selection of five carefully chosen products is designed to keep you radiant and celebrate the beauty of the season. In this digital magazine, you'll also find essential tips for Halloween makeup and cosy autumnal scents. Perfect for a night in. Yeah, we can go with that, can't we? Yeah, I'm, I'm just really surprised that we haven't got a themed box. I'm so used to October as being the month where we get a really good themed box. No box, but okay. Right, so the first product we've got is from Avino. 
and this it's full size and it's the face calm and restore oat rich balm targeting multiple signs of dry skin including tightness uneven texture and sensitivity the Avena face calm and restore oat rich balm delivers up to 24 hours of soothing hydration powered by a blend of ceramides and Avena's triple oat complex the creamy formula provides a lasting boost of moisture while simultaneously nourishing the skin barrier its smoothing properties leaves the complexion with a more clarified uniform appearance um, suggested retail price for this is £14.99 I'm not quite sure what they mean by this so it's just something you apply to particular areas which are maybe dry and is it just for your face can you use it in other areas is it a multi-purpose balm or I don't know so it just says soothes and hydrates for 24 hours and deeply moisturises to help strengthen the skin's natural moisture barrier. I'm intrigued. I mean, it's already worth more than what I paid for the box, so that's already good. Is it like a creamy kind of product? Okay, so some's coming out. So it seems like it's a creamy product. Okay, this is fine. I can use this as a hand cream. That's, that, that's all good. Right, if I can use it as a hand cream, especially at this time of year, because I'm constantly washing my hands, I'm happy with that. So, okay, my first product has covered the cost of my box, so I'm happy already. Okay, what else we got? And then, oh, next is, oh, this is something for Kayla. I'll give this to my sister, she's just popped by, so I can give this to her for Kayla. This is... A headband we got one of these last year was it last year december chris i've got something for kayla so don't go yet Can I come no not well not yet let me give me five minutes and i'll give it to you um this is from brushworks and it's full size and it's a black cloud hairband brushworks black cloud headband is a luxurious terry cloth hairband perfect for keeping your hair out of your face while providing a spa like experience made from soft and absorbent terry cloth keeping your hair safe and dry when cleansing your face this this headband is comfortable and stylish the perfect addition to your beauty routine £8.99 yeah that's this is definitely going to my niece so that is cool here you are <laughs> I'll catch you later <laughs> right next is something from bubble tea cosmetics glow body serum okay this is a brand I'm not that fond of products I've received haven't been that great but depends on what you like really um, so this is the glow body serum and it's get that generous glow and boost your levels of hydration with this beautifully scented body serum applying on skin after showering or bathing to fragrance hydrate and bring the glow okay suggested retail price is £12.99 okay so it's, it's a cheap plasticky kind of um, container let's see what this is like it's got a sort of pipette dropper sort of thing. This is very, it's very thin. It's not like a, this is very, very thin. I'm, I'm, a, I'm used to serums being a little bit more thicker and a little bit more moisturising. Okay. Is it giving glow? What do you think? So this is the hand without it. This is the hand with it. Are we seeing any extra glow? I'm not... Um, if anything, it's more sticky. And it has got a scent. And it's got a scent I do not like. I don't know if it's actually... I was going to say, it smells like curry. But it might be just because I, I was just cooking a Thai green curry. So it might be in my hands. Wait a minute. Because <laughs> it can't be this smelling like curry. It does. Oh. That's not a fragrance I'd want to smell like, personally. But everyone's got a choice. Not everyone likes the same fragrance, but no, that's that's not for me. Um, yeah, that's not <laughs> that's not a product I like. I don't like the texture. It's very watery. I don't like the smell, and it's not giving me any extra glow. So th that's a no. All right, let's move on, shall we?
Next we've got Bang Beauty. Oh, Bang Beauty is from my friend there, um, DeFalco, em Emanuela DeFalco, that woman. So we've got an eyeliner. Okay, she can't do too much harm with an eyeliner, can she? So eyeliner, get all day waterproof precision with our Easy Glide liquid liner, no smudges, feathering or running. The trim, sorry, the thin marker like tip is beginner friendly, offering versatile looks, smooth application without skipping or pulling lasts all day. Suggested retail price for this is £15.83. What kind of weird price is that? Okay, so it's it's just a, a liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm actually going to keep this because surprisingly I haven't received a liquid eyeliner um, black in ages. At one point I was getting nothing but liquid eyeliners. Then I, I went through a space of early on in the year, I was getting maybe blue um, liquid eyeliners, which I really like, but I've run out of black. So I'm going to keep this because I need a standard black eyeliner. So, but yeah, Bang Beauty is definitely something from that woman. <sighs> if, you, if you've been following me for a while, you know who I'm talking about. Right, uh, let's have a look. Let's go on to the next page. And then on this page, it's which one will you receive? So several products here, and you might receive one of these. So let's have a look and see what I've got. I've got from um, Plum and Poppy Hair Finishing Gel. Well, let's have a look, what's this? Oh, they're calling it a hair tamer. Right, this is something else I won't be using. It's full size hair tamer. Step one, apply this product along the hair direction about along the hair this is hair tamer step one apply this product along the hair direction after combing step two apply more time if the flyaway hairs is not easy to accept who wrote this step three press your hair with your hand and the effect will be better suggested retail price price is five pound twenty five what a load of shite right let's have a look This is the kind of product that it could be this is could easily just be a brow gel it really could be but they've made the brush quite big <sighs> yeah so it's like a mascara brush with the plasticky kind of thing and then what you do is supposed to be able to it, it, it's just like a, a liquid gel so if you want to you can just hold and just tame it down so any flyaway hairs you could do that so that's basically what you do with products like this probably better to do it on this side which is where I've got more hair because that side is always thinning or thinned I should say permanently filled thinned can you see the effect there and then you can just yeah it's just like a liquid gel So if I wanted to do a swoop like those young girls, I could probably do that. that. That's literally what this is. So that's what I'll probably use the brush for. So I can use it to apply the gel products, which I've got upstairs. Um, I've got loads of edge gels. And that's, this is literally what this is. This to me is like an edge gel. But, you know, it's I'd say it's light enough to use on sort of Caucasian hair as well. Because it's not too sticky at the firm the hold is not firm so this would be all right for caucasian hair and i'd say it'd almost be all right for thin hair because my hair is very thin so it's got a purpose even though it's like a, it's a crappy cheap product it's got a role so if anything <laughs> i'm laughing because this box this month is just a bit weird for me so uh, it's easy the Avena balm is easily the star product for me easily the star product because I'll be using that as a hand cream so that's that's good I will use this um, as um, a brush if anything just to tame edges or if I'm doing Kayla's hair and I want to do a little swoop I will use the brush in that to do it the product in there will not be strong enough for Kayla's hair it's good enough for my hair because my hair is thin but the brush will be useful so I've got the brush out of it um, and what's the other thing oh and the eyeliner liquid eyeliner 
is fine I will use the eyeliner the hairband my sister's already taken it um, so the hair the hairband is going to Kayla so yeah that's four products so yeah okay and this product I think is just it doesn't smell good in my opinion it doesn't smell good at all so if anything this is probably gonna go in my trash it's gonna go in my trash sort of immediately because that's kind of pointless sorry but it is what it is all right guys that is my box glossy box this month um i'm happy about the, the hand cream so it covers the cost of my hand cream so i'm happy about that um glad to have another eyeliner yeah and yeah everything else is just I know that sounds so negative, don't I? But that's the glossy box this month. I'd love to know what you guys received in your variations. What you could have received. Let's have a look and see what the other options were. I'm interested now. What are the other options? So you could have received um, Tame That Main Frizz Spray. Well, that's not for me. Turn Up The Volume Volumizing Dry Shampoo. And those are both from Person Reed, so I wouldn't have wanted either of those. The Style Dry Coconut and Fig Hair Masks. I've received that before, not particularly wanting that. And of course, we've got Philip Kingsley Bond Builder. Received that before as well. Actually, I think I've got the best product out of all five, so I am not complaining at all. So, there you go. That's the Glossy Box for October. I'm surprised. I'm just surprised that we didn't get a themed box, but that's what it is. All right, guys. Have a great week, and I... We'll see you soon. Take care.